All right, welcome back to OU Nightly. Thanks for joining us. I'm Colton Williams. Woke up to some frigid conditions out there this morning. Looked at temperatures in the upper 20s, and that was the first time this year uh, we hit anywhere below freezing, and that's going to tie the seventh place all time on record for earliest time we've hit freezing. Got to go all the way back to 1952, early October, but this morning hit a record low, set a record low here in Oklahoma City at 28 degrees, and now again, we're not going to be dealing with a whole lot of uh, record-breaking temperatures coming up the next couple of days, at least in terms of cold temperatures. Now, this morning, you find a harder place, colder than Oklahoma City this morning, sitting at 28. It was cooler in Oklahoma City than it was in Billings, Montana. Now, we had a big area of some frigid air here across the middle part of the U.S., but elsewhere, again, Oklahoma City was about as cool as it gets this morning. Now, this afternoon had a quick warm-up back up into the middle 60s now. Lots of sunshine, good-looking shot there from our campus cam here on the South Oval. A southerly breeze, okay, so now across the state, we've been replaced with 60s and 70s for most of us. You get 70s and 80s out west where we get 50s and 60s here in the central part of Oklahoma and the far east, a couple upper 50s once again. But overall, pleasant fall day here across Oklahoma here. And as we head into tonight, it's going to be, again, a chilly night, but again, nowhere near those upper 20s. We will have clear skies. The southerly breeze is going to help keep us in the middle to lower 40s across most of the state tonight. Before then, tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to get back into a quick warm-up. Lots of sunshine tomorrow. It's going to be slightly above average middle to upper 70s for tomorrow before then the pattern change comes on as we go throughout the next couple of days so right now it's really a tale of two halves all right we got the jet stream split in the u.s right down the middle cooler weather to the east warmer to the west even a little bit of snow going on in the great lakes region far southeastern canada now coming up the next couple of days jet stream is going to shift here a little bit going to bring in the chance for a nice warm-up here in oklahoma Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Again, looking at some near record temperatures Saturday and Sunday. Before then, here's our next cold front, this next low pressure system. That's going to move in here as we go throughout the early part of next week. That's going to bring in a nice blast of some more cold air, as well as some rain chances coming in early next week. And that's going to kick our warm up out the door into early next week. Replace it with some cold air. Hopefully leave behind just a little bit of rain. Now this weekend, above average temperatures, dry vegetation, ongoing drought, Looking at elevated fire risk here for Friday and Saturday, approaching near critical on Sunday. It'll be highest in the west and the northwest. Still something to keep an eye on. Now, there's rain chances coming on early next week. We'll be less out to the west, more here as we go into eastern Oklahoma. Really looking about half an inch to potentially even three quarters of an inch up and down I-35. Got to head out to eastern Oklahoma to find an inch or more as we go into early next week. All right, now again, as we round out October, Oklahoma really looking mostly normal. Maybe the chance to be slightly below average out in the west. But as again, we head into this weekend, talk about temperatures in the 80s. Cold front arrives Sunday and into Monday, bringing on storm chances. This time next week, looking at temperatures in the middle 60s. Guys, back to you.